Well, Community Blood Center of the Ozarks is asking for your help. The nonprofit is experiencing an emergency need for blood to supply area hospitals, and they say every donation can help save a life. Color 10's Bethany French spoke with a mother who witnessed this firsthand. She joins us live outside the donation center here in Springfield this morning. Yes, that's right. I spoke with Jamie Nix, who says that her son needed a blood transfusion while he was staying in the NICU. She says it's something she'll never forget. Having that blood he received, it was like this small glimpse of hope I had during a stressful time. And if that wouldn't have been available, like, you know, I, I can't imagine because that, that hope I got meant everything to me. Her son's experience in the NICU has inspired Nix to donate blood more frequently. So far, she's given around five gallons. Community Blood Center of the Ozark says there are multiple reasons why they're in a shortage, including a record high need for the month of May, and summer is also a slow season. Blood drives happen a lot, a lot on college campuses and high school campuses, resulting in that slow season. That's why CBCO reaches out to the community and encourages people to donate at drives like boots, badges, and bandages in Ozark. It's a friendly competition blood drive between fire, police, and EMS. We want to be there to support our community and that other people want to support their, their friends and their neighbors as well. And this is just one of many ways that you can get out in your community and support them and give back. If you want to help, you can make an appointment to donate with Community Blood Center of the Ozarks at any time, or you can look to see when there's going to be a mobile blood drive near you. Reporting live in Springfield, Bethany French, Color 10 News.